Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to plant three rhododendrons into a container for my front porch. Uh, these are uh, Southgate rhododendrons. I did a video on these uh, maybe a week, a little over a week ago. Uh, these, I've got some uh, uh, two different varieties here. One is starting to show some color and uh, I'm gonna put three of them in one container. I'm just going to enjoy the flowers on them and then they're gonna get planted out into another landscape job. So I'm not concerned about giving them any space. I'm not gonna have them in the container long enough to, uh, for them to need space to root out. If I was gonna plant one of these rhododendrons into a container, it would just be, and leave it there permanently. Uh, I would just put one in the container and I'd give it a big, you know, big enough container for it to have some space to root out in, but again, uh, this is just a temporary thing. Uh, I'll get about two months on the flowers. These buds are still really tight, so I think I'm gonna get about two months of color on these in the container, and then they'll be repurposed uh, in another landscape job. The other thing I'm gonna do is plant some uh, bare root peonies into a container, and I'll go over uh, 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 planting peonies in containers and uh, why I choose to do them in containers this time of year. Their uh, bare root peonies are readily available at a lot of garden centers, and uh, in box stores uh, at this time of year in the uh, late winter. So if you want them, uh, I would go and grab them now. And uh, like I say, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how I go about putting them in a container and hopefully get blooms this first year. After they bloom, then I'll get them into the ground. So planting these three rhododendrons into this container, the only concern I have is that I don't end up drowning them between now and the time that I uh, plant them in the ground. So I put about six inches of uh, well-draining potting soil down at the bottom and it's just a, regular potting soil, then I mixed it with some pine bark uh, soil conditioner. If you don't have pine bark soil conditioner, you could use perlite. Perlite would be a great choice for that. If you don't have that, you could actually end up using pine bark mini nuggets, which are just chunkier uh, pieces of pine bark. That would be an example of that uh, in this uh, pine bark had a big piece in it. There's a nursery close to me that grows a lot of hard to grow plants in just pine bark mini nuggets in their containers and it works great for them. So um, if that's available at the box store you go to, then, then use that and just mix that in 50-50 with the potting soil. And then I'm just, that'll create some good drainage at the bottom, make sure the pot has drain holes. That's important. These three plants are barely, barely gonna fit into this container. This is Southgate Brandy, which is a uh, pink and uh, white. I want these sitting just below the top edge of the pot so that when I do have to water them, the water doesn't run over the edge of the container and it runs down through them like that. And it's the taller of the three plants. So it's gonna end up in the back. And then this is a Southgate Radiance, which is a, a, a purple or almost purple, the most purple of, the, of them from the collection. And these are nicely rooted. They're not root bound, but they're held together pretty nicely and I gotta squeeze him down and manipulate him to get him down to that same level right there okay those are the exact same level now in the pot and I'm barely gonna have room for this third one okay right here And I'm being very forceful with him, but I've done this enough that I'm not that concerned about doing any real damage to it. There it went. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now that leaves a little bit of gap around here where uh, a couple little triangles uh, on the edges between the plants that uh, need to be filled in. There's some extra soil in these containers. I'll get all these tags off in a minute. And I'm just gonna fill in these little gaps. If you don't have extra soil in the pot, just use that same potting mix that we used. There's one of them filled in. And there's another one filled in. There should be one more spot right here where there's a big gap. So I had to bring these rhododendrons over to a shady space to show you how great this is gonna look. But it's gonna be on my front porch and kind of part shade, get a lot of morning sun, a little bit of late day sun. 
but up against the wall uh, where it's going to sit. It'll be mostly uh, shady during the uh, middle part of the day, which will be perfect for these rotos. I'll water them in, but I'm going to let them become slightly dry in between uh, waterings. But this is a uh, Southgate Radiance right here, and there's two of those, and then that one right there, Southgate Brandy. This was a fall and winter container that I've had out here on the front porch that I'm going to use to plant uh, three of these peonies into. Uh, nice thing about fall plants is they barely root in at all so uh, because it was so cold in the uh, winter time so you can pull these out and just reuse potting soil that you use in your fall planters uh, pretty easily. Both of these kales come out really easy like that and uh, then this grass the grass probably did root in just a hair more. This grass I'm going to repot into a, another pot and let it wake up and use it somewhere in the yard. Those two kales will go to the compost pile. So let's slide that out of the way right there and uh, get any chunky leaves or anything out of here. The thing about peonies, uh, here are bare root peonies. And you can, like I say, you can buy these right now. You can probably mail order them. You can get them in the box stores, garden centers, that kind of thing. They're starting to wake up right here. This uh, tuber uh, gets planted in the soil like this with this, where the new growth is coming right there will be barely exposed or just barely covered. So, you know, some, some variation of that. It, it would be okay if it was slightly exposed, uh, but I'm gonna put three of these tubers into this container. Uh, I like the container plant uh, peonies. Uh, this time of year, I always, I, we, I actually bought them for years, bare root like this, and pot them into two gallon pots and then sell them at the farmer's market and uh, could sell them pretty quickly. I tend to have more reliable flowers in the first year by container planting them, and that's why I do this. They're going to stay on my front porch. These are herbaceous peonies. There are tree peonies and then they're herbaceous perennial uh, peonies. Herbaceous means they die to the ground every year. That's what these are. These are hardy in like zone three to nine. They are super, super hardy. You get the big, giant beautiful flowers that we're used to uh, on peonies. But uh, th I'll have room in this container for these three for one season, uh, no problem. Uh, you, can, you can actually keep peonies in containers. You can grow this out and then in the fall or winter, you protect it from freezing solid by putting it under a deck or near the house or something like that. But what I'm gonna do is grow them, let them flower, and then uh, I'm going to uh, transplant them into the ground. Herbaceous peonies like this, despise wet feet. They like moist, well-drained soil or slightly dry, uh, well-drained soil. And uh, my soils are just terrible for these. So these will have to go in some sort of raised bed in order for me to have any success with them. So they'll go over here by the vegetable garden somewhere where I have raised the beds up a little bit. I'm gonna add just a little bit of soil to this. And then I mixed what I did with this potting soil bag here is I mixed uh, the little bit of potting soil that I had left in here with some pine bark and uh, create a pretty well draining mix here. But again, these peonies are super, super uh, cold hardy. Almost anybody watching me can pretty much grow these. If you're in zone nine or 10, Sometimes you're probably not going to get enough cold in the winter. They do require a little bit of cold treatment in the winter to flower. And so uh, those of you in those areas, maybe best to grow them in containers because at least the container would expose it to a little more cold. But this tuber, uh, these roots can, can go down in to the soil like that, or I've had just as much success planting them sideways like this, and then the roots will find their way down. Just for now, I'm going to do this. And I hope you'll be able to see that. I've got the top of that maybe an inch below, inch and a half below the top of there. And I'm going to fill the soil up right to the top of that in just a second. I'm going to put this second one in right here and try to get it about the same height right there. And this third one, exactly the same thing. These are mixed color varieties here. So I don't even have any idea what color these are going to be until until we see them bloom here. But again, same thing, just trying to get it down there where all three are at approximately the same height. And then 
I'll put the rest of this soil I mixed in here. Okay. And that's going to be perfect. I could, um, I don't even know that it's necessary for me to fertilize these at this moment, but I, I probably will. I'll use some, a little bit of plant tone on them, uh, just whatever instructions are on the bag. This is a 16 inch pot. I'm putting three peonies in here. If you were going to keep peonies in a pot, you'd put one right in the center and allow it the space to fill out. This is just going to be, I'm trying to get as much of a display out of this container as I can get. After the flowers fade, I'm going to uh, transplant them into the ground. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll show you photos of these uh, once they bloom. Hopefully they bloom. It's a little shadowy out here, but there's Holly uh, watching everything here. And then this is, here's this beautiful rhododendron container. And uh, right here are the uh, peonies in that container. It won't look like much for another week or two, but they'll, uh, they'll start growing pretty quickly out here. And uh, again, I'm gonna put a little bit of plant tone fertilizer on that. I gotta be careful with the watering on the peonies. I need to let them dry out uh, pretty dry before I water them uh, each time. And uh, I'll show you some progress on Instagram of these peonies and these rhododendrons as they start to open. So thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos.